we shall learn the any method of link any is an extension method available in link just like we have where select those we have been learning so far let us try to understand any so we'll we'll uh, see it like this any does not return any records this is one thing that we should know and it just returns true or false so any is basically used to test something the test may be positive or negative any has two overloads one overload accepts no arguments and the other load other overload accepts one argument in which a lambda expression has to be passed so first of all we'll discuss this one then we can discuss this one suppose there is a collection called ls and if we write dot any no arguments passed then it returns true if ls contains even one element and returns false if ls does not contain any elements this is one thing now one would worry wonder why alternate methods are not used and any is used what could be an alternate method one could write for instance ls dot count count is a property so ls dot count and why ls dot any the reason is that count will continue the execution of checking this list till the last available element it will actually iterate over the entire list and determine the final sum and then you would want to use if ls dot count is more than 0 so ls dot count will take longer time to return and then you will be able to test this condition whereas ls dot any stops the execution the moment it finds the first record so if there are 1000 records in a collection this one will move 1000 times till the last one whereas this one will move only the first time till the first one and return the result as true or false so definitely this one is going to be 1000 times faster than that one so this is the main advantage of using any that execution stops at the very moment it finds one record now let us come to the second overload the second overload accepts a lambda so if you have ls dot any then any will return true if there is at least one element in ls that meets this condition again any will return the moment it finds the first record that meets this condition it won't go on and on till the last one so any is optimal returns bool these are the things that you should know about any let us now th see a practical example and we'll see the use of any how it is used consider this model class city public string city name list string gardens so basically this model consists of two properties 
one is a string city name the other is gardens gardens is actually a collection of string so here we are creating an object for example uh, get cities is a function that returns a list of cities and we write list city ls is new city here we come ls dot add new city city name is chandigarh gardens is a list it is a collection of two strings gardens is equal to new list string this so this gardens is actually a list and in the second example we write city name is mohali gardens it doesn't contain any elements and then is delhi delhi contains one element so if you want to list all the cities which have at least one garden then we can use any clause any method see the example here list city ls cities is equal to get cities this function is written somewhere in our action method and in our controller and this is also there in the same controller get cities and this is being called to return the list of cities here and we are writing the query ls cities dot where x goes to x dot gardens dot any the first overload we are using so this will return all cities which have at least one garden and then from amongst those we are writing a dynamic we are writing a select clause select here select city comma dynamic the lambda here is a is returning a anonymous object and we are writing name comma index goes to name uh, this one is probably new we know select returns a projection means out of the entire city object it is returning us the name only and we have written an index also here normally what we would write is dot select city x goes to new x dot city name this is what we would have written normally so that this is an anonymous object and here it would have been written dynamic comma dynamic so x goes to new x dot city name this is returning a dynamic but in but select has an overload this particular overload has takes a lambda having only one parameter i'll write it more clearly there select city comma dynamic x goes to new city is equal to x dot city name whatever the property is here the select is taking a lambda that takes one argument and we have seen one argument lambdas only so far we have seen all lambdas which take one argument but select has an overload that allows a lambda that takes two arguments and they can be called like this x comma index or x comma y the second is a number and when i write x goes to index goes to new then index represents the index number of the record so suppose a query is returning uh, a better example would be suppose you have 
a collection of 50 records a table of 50 records and let us say we pick the first second and third out of them and the sixth one let us say then in the result set when we write x comma index goes to then the index will be a serially numbered value for the first record it will have value 0 for the second 1 third 2 and for the sixth it will have value of 3 so index is actually used to provide a serial number you can pass second argument x comma y second argument is a serial number so when we write select x comma y goes to then y will be the serial number so here you can see it we are passing select city select is acting on a collection of city comma dynamic the result set is a dynamic because of this new this lambda takes two arguments name comma index generally we are naming these as x comma y but you can give any name any variable z z comma t so similarly we have given a variable name as name and the second as index so this is the first variable this is the second variable the first argument the second argument and this goes to new name name is a alias is equal to first argument dot city name because this name is of type city we are taking only one column out of that comma this is another alias and the value of this alias is index plus one so that the first record will have a value of zero plus one as one so this is one thing that you have learned here that if you want to serially number the records then you can use the second argument of the select lambda then uh, we are using string builder for each where c in query sb dot append format serial number is c dot index index is aliased here and city is equal to 1 c dot this name aliased from here so it will return us the list of all cities that have at least one garden so this any is a very useful method that you can test with efficiency with great speed the whether a collection returns any elements or not so we'll close it right now thanks